This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a, a very exciting guest. Well, he's a returning guest. He is uh, Jeremy Fromer, the uh, CEO and CFO, uh, Executive Director of uh, Jerick Media Holdings. Well, they trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol JMDA. They are a technology company. Uh, Jeremy, welcome to the show. Thank you. You know, you guys have been really busy over there. I, I, I know that because you guys are coming out with uh, more platforms and stuff like that. But, you know, what I want to know is that kind of what's the difference between timely and timeless content? Uh, so really, there, there are really two types of content that are created on, on the web uh, that are published each day onto the Internet. And that's up from uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about two and a half million, uh, nearly just a, a few years ago. Um, and uh, over time, uh, Google has had a, a much more difficult time, and perhaps uh, it's less important to Google to be indexing what are thousands of articles of timely content, such as um, you know Trump's energy plan or a particular uh, issue with the Russians. Uh, that's timely content. And there are thousands upon thousands of those kind of articles put out, and there's really no way to distinguish the quality of them, which is really what Google's interested in doing. Google's interested in, in properly indexing content so that their users' search is, is more efficient and effective to what they're trying to get. Timeless content, on the other hand, is, let's use the examples of politics again, timeless content is something such as um, 10 times uh, where the um, judiciary branch has overruled the executive branch uh, in the 20th century. Um, those kind of pieces, or, or things like 10 of the most efficient energy sources for the next uh, 20 years, um, things that give us information that today, tomorrow, and a year from now will be of value, that's really the only content that is, so to speak, tradable on the web. The rest of it basically dissipates over time. That should give you a good understanding of the difference between timely and timeless content. You know, there's a lot of uh, companies like yours in this media space. I, I, you know, I'm sure that my listeners and, and personally myself, what makes uh, Jerk Media Holding so special? What, what is your vision out there in New York? Well, you know, Jarek, Jarek as, as the holding company, um, creates um, technology. We create platforms. Uh, one of the platforms that we created recently was Vocal. Uh, so Vocal, in particular, my vision was to create a long-form social media platform, which really doesn't exist. Uh, there are many uh, social media platforms, such as Facebook, Twitter, et cetera, but they're all short-form in nature, meaning they're, they're limited in scope of what they could do. And it seems that for a long time, people thought that was where they wanted to get their voices heard until they found out that really social media only offers it only scratches the surface really of getting your voice heard because it, it's limited in that not that many people actually hear your voice in your social media. It's why so many of us tweet uh, to nobody. But the truth is, is that if you could create a platform where people could post long form content, the type of content you see on vocal.media and the kind of content you see on all the publishing platforms that are attached to vocal.media, um, that kind of content is different. Uh, that kind of content will rank with Google that kind of content will be seen by more people. And most importantly, I wanted to create an environment, I guess, uh, sort of from my days in partnerships on Wall Street. I wanted to bring a, a different institutional level to, uh, to digital platforms. And I wanted to be in partnership with my content creators. That's why uh, we probably uh, currently pay uh, the highest rates on a per view basis on the internet uh, for writers. I mean, most writers will get paid a fixed fee by publications. We don't do that. What we do is we partner with them to get their voices heard. They come on our platform and we uh, share in our revenues with them. It's a very different model than, than almost any model out there. My guest today is Jeremy uh, Fromer. He is the uh, CEO and CEFO of Jerk Media Holdings. They trade on the OTC QB under the ticker symbol JMD. 
DA. Let's switch gears here for a second. Let's talk a little bit about your your, your metrics, your market cap. It's around $5.2 million. Your stock price is uh, around 20 to 24 cents a share. How do you guys plan on making your money? How do you actually make your money in, in, in the internet? Well, on a fully diluted basis, company's value is more like uh, 24 to 25 to 30 million. Um, remember, you're just looking at the shares of common that are outstanding against the market. Correct. Those, those systems never really give you a better indication of the value of a company. So as far as what we see broader picture for Jarek and the future as far as where we're heading, is that what you were asking? Absolutely. I just want to know how do you guys actually make money on the Internet? Yeah. So, so look, I, I'm a firm believer that the display advertising model is dead. Uh, and in fact, some some technology people I've spoken to in the past haven't been comfortable talking to me about this stuff because I call out their models on it. In a sense, I tell people that the truth is that it is simply a matter of time until all the display uh, ads are gone. It can't it can't keep up like this. How how long will you continue to indulge a website ever when every time you get on it, it takes you 30 seconds to close? a bunch of windows that keep popping up and voices that keep speaking until you just don't give a shit about the article. So that methodology is gone, and right now it's a race to the bottom, which is what a lot of technologists don't like to hear from me, but it's no different than on Wall Street when we saw commissions go from quarters to eighths to steenths uh, to basically pennies. Right. And that's what's, that's what's happening in the digital display advertising space, which is why you're seeing so many companies struggle today with that old model and and again companies that don't have their own technology underlying their content like we do those are the ones that are really going to suffer but but as 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 you probably know the the real next phase of of uh ads on the internet is been pioneered by the best it's been pioneered by uh facebook uh, and facebook so showed us that the way to advertise is a self-serving ad network uh, same thing with twitter uh, no matter what uh, people say about Twitter and their valuation these days, Twitter is at least in the right direction in that it is that it is creating a self-serving ad network where the content from the advertisers are supposed to feel relatively subtle and seamless to the experience on the platform. And that's really where we're heading as well from a revenue standpoint. My guest today is uh, Jeremy uh, Fromer. He is the uh, CEO and CEFO of Jarek Media Holdings Company. While they trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol JMDA. In closing here, I want to know if there's anything that, that you'd like to get out to my listeners here. Um, I'm addicted to Netflix's series, The OA. <laughs> <laughs> No, I have nothing else I want to get off my chest. But 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 thank thanks for giving me the opportunity. A absolutely, I, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show and getting an update of your company and what you guys are are, are doing out there. I wish you guys nothing but continued success, and uh, we're going to check back with you guys in about forty or forty five days. Great, looking forward to it, ever. <laughs> The following program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire LLC, which is responsible for the following content. The opinions and information provided on today's show are those of the guests and of those of the respective companies they represent, and does not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of this station. Uptick Network encourages all listeners of the show to do their own due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that'll work for them, or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of today's show may have paid to appear on the show and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Network or the